Hey guys, uh, Steve here, Fanatic Perspective. Um, first off, happy Thanksgiving. Um, I'm very, very thankful for my family, uh, all my wonderful friends here in Austin, Texas. Um, I actually had an opportunity to celebrate with my family here in uh, Lockhart today, and we had a, we had a wonderful uh, day. So just wanted to get out of the way first. I'm very, very, very um, you know, humbled and, and, and thankful for what we have and um, just continue to be nice and spread love and, and bless others in the world. So one of the, you know, that's the most important thing and, and always my biggest takeaway for, from, um, from this holiday. Um, as a Cowboys fan, you know, these days are always sacred for us and, and a time also to gather around with family and, and watch our team. And I believe the game is still going on, but I just wanted to step away and make a quick recap video since I'm at my grandfather's house and, um, you know, obviously this game got away from us very, very early. I mean, I know we had several back and forth chances, but we, we didn't compete today. Um, uh, horrible, you know, on, on um, pretty much every facet of the game. Um, I'll start defensively. Uh, Phillip Rivers just carved us up, uh, you know, whether we were in cover two, whether we were blitzing. Um, he was just, he was three steps ahead in, in every asset and in every facet of the game. Anthony Brown, you know, he's really struggling. He got picked on. Um, you know, we obviously had the the stadium issue yet again. Comes to bite bites us in the behind with the sun, and um, it, it leads me to another thing because we're not making plays on the football. Um, we're not getting those interceptions to try to anything to flip the game. When you're struggling, when you're on a losing streak like this, when everything is it's going bad, somebody has to make a play, and nobody's making a play right now on either side of the ball. Um, we're having to blitz a lot because our defensive line that was playing out of their minds, they've cooled off, and they're not getting a pass rush. So, you know, the only way to stop somebody like an experienced quarterback like Rivers is to... You know, if you're blitzing him like the way we're blitzing, we're sending the heat and he knows it's coming, he's going to find the hot every single time. And not only is he finding the hot, but he's finding an opportunity to get touchdowns and put points on the board when we blitz. He wants us to blitz. Um, you, have to, you have to get pressure uh, with your front four um, and be able to, 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 to play coverage behind it. Um, and try to mix it up, try to confuse him. That's how people beat, you know, Brady in the Super Bowl, the, like the Giants and, and, and other things. It's when you're going against veteran quarterbacks, got to get that pressure with your front and play coverage. Um, right now, we're not even able to play coverage. Um, we're not able to get any type of heat with, with Lawrence and, 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 and Irving, and that's very, very unfortunate. Uh, moving over to the offensive side of the ball, um, Dak Prescott's cold and struggling right now. Um, he, he's... Missing guys, he's um, had some accuracy issues, um, and then the interception started to come at the end there, and that was that was rough, that was brutal. That pick six um, sealed the game, although I, I didn't really think we were in it. Um, and then the I think he threw another interception right after that, you know, where he was just not now he's not even reading the coverage. So he's he's sinking fast. His comp you can tell his confidence is is down. Um, and there's, there's nothing, you know, our coaches are doing and nothing that we are uh, bringing into the fold to, to help him. So it's, it's a collect, I, I place collective blame um, on behalf of everybody, especially when you're dealing with, you know, Dak Prescott, you, you saw the difference between him and Philip Rivers today. Philip Rivers, all he needs is a couple seconds to diagnose what's going on. Boom, 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 make my checks. And he has some really good wide receivers. Keenan out. I mean, those guys were breaking tackles, and guys were making plays for him. Um, and 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 also their play design was excellent. There was a play they did with Austin Eckler earlier in the game where they, sp they spread him out wide on Justin Durant and, and ran a double move, isolating him with the linebacker. Um, those are things that we we don't do in our offense, quite frankly. Um, and, and then on top of that. When you're a young quarterback like that, Prescott's in a hole, we don't know how to coach him out of it. I mean, and this is something that Jason Garrett personally has not faced before because he worked with, you know, a more better quarterback with Tony Romo before, who was more like a fill and could kind of self coach and self maintain. Um, and then last year, you know, everything, nobody got hurt, everything was on schedule the entire time. Um, and now that Dak is in a position where everything's off schedule, and he's having, we have to win with our passing game. Our passing game is awful right now. 
I think they showed the stat today with 26 in the league. Um, from I believe from a yardage perspective, and, and it's it's getting worse each week. It's progressively worse because and, and you can tell that even from an offensive play calling perspective, they're trying to really cover cover it up because I don't think they have any built-in nuances to even get people open. Um, I mean, there, now there again, there were plays at the end of the game that excuse me where guys were open and, and Dak missed them. That's just. Um, that's 100% on him. I cannot blame the coaches for that. Uh, but I can I can place blame on the coaches with this play design. And the, just the, the overall effort and vibe of the team coming out. They got embarrassed today. And, 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 and Jason Garrett at some point has to be held accountable for that. He has to be held accountable for that. He has to be held accountable for the lack of adjustments after halftime. Every single halftime, the last four games, we've given up a touchdown coming out in the third quarter. That's unacceptable. And, and, and you're getting your, your your lunch eaten by another coaching staff every single week. We're not checking that box. Um, so I think this is now an opportunity for everybody to, and the Cowboys organization from Jerry Jones on down to take a look inside um, and assess and evaluate every single person. You know, you're gonna have to assess the coaching staff. You're going to have to assess, you know, Dak Prescott, see how he plays out the rest of the year. Um, because, you know, he hasn't been paid yet. And I, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it's just everybody has to be evaluated is what I'm saying. Now, me personally, I'm ready to move on from this coaching staff and, and, and kind of pull with the what the Los Angeles Rams did with Jared Goff and get him a basically get him offensive minded uh, quarterback guru in there to just run this offense in conjunction with Zeke, just like they had Todd Gurley, in conjunction with Todd Gurley, I would like to go down that path and see what we got. But, you know, um, a lot of the things we do uh, really don't make sense. Um, you know, just, but, you know, you look at the coaching, even the, the, the holding penalty on Tyron Smith, um, it seems like every big, you know, chunk play we do get, um, it gets called back. So, very, very frustrating today. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that I still have my Cowboys. I'm thankful I get to watch my Cowboys um, every Thanksgiving, even though they, they completely laid, laid an egg today. And the season's probably over. Um, but, you know, we still do have a lot, a lot of young assets. Um, this Ezekiel Elliott stuff should be behind us moving forward. Um, I expect him to come back, you know, humbled and knowing that, you know, our season went down the hill after he left. Um, I expect them to make a decision about the Sean Lee stuff. And uh, again, that's part of the evaluation is your, are your key players available? Um, and if not, how do you upgrade that position? So I think right now it's, it's almost turning into, you have to still play hard and, and see, what, see what can happen. You still only have six losses, but this also has, has to be an evaluation period across the entire organization. They need to do a self audit and, and really get, establish what their plan is going to be moving forward, uh, especially for the guys on this team who are, who are 26 and under. So we'll see. Again, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And um, thank you for viewing the video. Thank you for the support. I'm very, very thankful for everyone that takes the time out to watch these videos um, and cares about my input. I really, really appreciate you guys. And um, enjoy your Thanksgiving break. And, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.